So in this movie, I want to go over the solution for assignment number seven um, and do a, uh, a build of the two sets of projects. So let's start off by um, starting up Eclipse. And I've created an empty wakes workspace. I'm going to use, uh, use that workspace for this project or these projects. And I've already downloaded the, the files um, and uh, unzipped them and put them into this SCC1 directory. So let me go ahead and start this up. And I need to begin by importing, but before I do that, uh, one of the things I like to make sure is that build automatically uh, is not set and that uh, uh, whenever we do a clean, that the uh, uh, that they don't build the work that don't build the projects automatically. Okay, so uh, I'm going to um, import these as existing projects into the workspace, and the directory that they sit in is desktop and scc1. So that's uh, that's where I want them to go from. So I'm just going to select that directory and click on OK, and then there's the projects. I do want to make sure that I'm copying the projects into the workspace as well, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so uh, let's again check on clean, make sure that start build immediately is not checked, so that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and just clean all the projects. Now, uh, one of the things that I have noticed, let's see if this uh, is happening here, let's do a refresh. Okay, so it looks like uh, there is no there are no files uh, there. Although let's let's begin by setting the tool chain for this because I believe that there's something that actually happens here. Uh, let's see, we're at Sigwin GCC and GNU Make Builder. Uh, I am on Linux, so I'm going to select Linux GCC. Uh, and uh, when possible, I'd like to try to use the CDT internal builder. This is the Eclipse. Um, C development tools in kernel builder rather than using the uh, the GNU uh, version. There are times when you want to use that other one, especially when uh, you're, you're, uh, I've seen this thing where cleaning doesn't work, and so I do switch um, on occasion. But I'm going to click on apply. Uh, now, one of the things I've noticed here is that uh, the binaries have shown up um, now that I've switched the tool chain. Um, the includes are there, and that's good. That's what I, I want to have that. Uh, but there's, uh, I know that in this particular project that you were working on, that there was a build in here that uh, could be deleted. Um, I don't think it's crucial that it be deleted. I think that you can live with it being in there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, again, I don't believe that it's necessary, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. All right. So uh, let's open up these three files. And take a, take a peek at them. There's a bunch of problems that appear, uh, 70 uh, in total. Um, let's, uh, let's begin by, let's see, taking a look at, I'm going to split the screen on here and taking a look at these files. So there's super cool calculator and um, uh, super co cool calculator cpp and dot h. Uh, this is in the CSC 274 namespace. Um, you'll notice here that this one's in CSC gotcha. The other thing is that uh, this file doesn't seem to be included in this other file, and those are pretty much two prerequisites, right? That you, that the namespaces are the same, and that the implementation file includes the h file so let's let's correct this problem so super cool calculator h uh, and then let's make sure this is in the proper namespace okay so I save that here and we see that all the errors that were in this one are gone we don't have any errors in this one either. So there, our remaining problems are in toolcool.cpp. Okay, so let's open up that file and see what's going on here. So 
uh, we have a number of things to, to resolve. Um, the first thing is, uh, it says here that um, super cool calculator can't be resolved. Uh, we are including this, but uh, we don't seem to have the proper namespace. So let's um, make sure we do using namespace CSC 274. Uh, I did notice some people trying to put this in the namespace, saying namespace CSC 274, but that is, uh, that's not correct. Okay, so let's save this file. And we have one more issue here. It seems that uh, it's not able to resolve random, but that is contained within the standard library, and we're using the, name, uh, the proper namespace. Uh, what we're going to try here is, uh, let's just try to build and see what we get out of this. Um, I still see these, uh, these two errors, um, and I've, I've included everything that I expected, in, expected to include, and then also the binaries build. So if I expand the binaries, you'll see that the program is actually there. Okay, so this is an example of what I was talking about in class, that every once in a while you'll see this type of behavior. Uh, and uh, you can do things like closing the project, opening the project, and from time to time that actually resolves the errors. And I think this has a lot to do with the way that Eclipse is, is uh, trying to resolve things. Um, I've also noticed that all those includes that were in here are, are missing. Um, and uh, that, uh, that again, is another sort of quirk of Eclipse. But, uh, but our binary did build, and so I can create a new run configuration based on that. There's super cool calculator. I can run that. And then under console, I should, oops, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Let's see if I can add that feedback can actually let me try to run it again. There's the console. All right, so and now my program is executing. So anyway, so that's the uh, that's the first uh, uh, first program, super cool calculator. All right, so let me end this one here and then uh, in the next movie we'll do the build of fix the test pointer fun along the CPP unit.